Hi everybody, I'm Bob Gager from Adobe and welcome to Ask Bob, where I get a chance to answer questions about Photoshop Elements asked by our Facebook fans. Today's question comes from Chris Meyer and Chris asks, I'm having trouble getting the Out of Bounds feature to work. Can you please do a demo? Well Chris, I'd love to. Out of Bounds is actually one of my favorite features in Photoshop Elements. So let's start here in the Elements Organizer and I know I've got some photos that I've done some out of bounds uh, work with. Uh, in fact, here's one right here. Uh, the big trick with the out of bounds effect is finding a photo that's uh, going to be interesting when you apply the effect to it. Um, usually you want some kind of action and something sort of coming out and so here's a good example of that. I'm going to walk you through taking this photo and applying the out of bounds effect to get this result. So let's start with this image. We'll just bring it here, open it up in the Elements Editor. And once it's open, we're going to switch over to Guided Edit. So right up here at the top, we've got Quick Guided Expert. I'm going to switch to Guided. And then over on the right, we've got a list of all of our guided edits. Let's scroll down to the Photo Play section. And at the top of the Photo Play section, we have something called Out of Bounds. So I'll just select Out of Bounds and then walk through the steps over here on the right. So the idea again here is to start with a photo that looks maybe something like that and turn it into the out of bounds photo. So step one is to add a frame and so there's some instructions here. First thing we do is just click this button right here, add frame. There you go. You can see over on the left we've got a frame automatically added by Photoshop Elements. And then, as the instructions describe, we want to position that frame so that some of our photo is inside the frame, some of our photo is outside the frame. And so I'm just going to grab these handles here on the edge and drag things around to where I've got some stuff inside the frame and some stuff outside the frame. And for this particular shot, I want to kind of crop it in pretty tight. Um, and I can do all kinds of creative decisions. I can either have the cowboy's head coming out uh, or keep the cowboy's head inside and have just sort of the barrel and some of his arms coming out. I can do kind of anything I want. So let's maybe do something like that. Uh, I can skew the frame by holding down the command option and shift keys and then just dragging these corners if I want to do that. So if I can, if I want to give it kind of a more 3D effect, I can do something like that. That might be a little extreme. Um, or I can drag. Uh, other points as well if I want to give it a 3D effect to the right and basically skew my frame around a little bit. Again that's completely optional uh, but I can do that if I want. Um, once I've done that as described here in step 1C click on the green check icon to confirm so once I've got my frame sort of set how I want it just click this green check mark right here and it'll go ahead and commit those changes. Next thing I want to do is adjust the width of the frame by dragging the corner handles. So the width of the frame is sort of the white border. You can see in the sample shot there's this little bit of white around the image. Well, We want to control how thick that is by just grabbing this corner here and dragging out. As we drag bigger you can see the distance between the marching ants dotted line here and the edge of my photo. That's how big my frame border is going to be. So I drag the bottom right out a little bit, I drag the bottom left out a little bit, I can make it big, I can make it small, anything I want to do. Um, and then when I'm done with that, just again click the green check mark uh, to commit those changes. So now you can see we've got sort of our picture in picture effect going on here. Uh, we see a border, we can see the sort of before and after images. Alright, so back over here to the right, we want to scroll down a little bit to step two. And step two is about using the selection tool to select the part of the photo that I want to stick out of the frame. So I just click on that and I've now got the selection tool uh, selected for me. And I just drag across these bits of the image. Now the trick here is I want to start on the inside and drag to the outside. And you can see the selection tool does a bunch of edge detection, automatically tries to find objects in my photo. So I've got part of the barrel. Uh, I didn't quite get the top here, so I want to drag across the top to make sure that's selected. I want to drag around the bottom here, and I'll show you later in case we make some mistakes how to, how to fine-tune things. But sort of drag around the bottom, so I've got the barrel selected. 
I want to drag around the cowboy's hat here so we've got that selected and maybe drag down along his arms and I picked this shot on purpose because it's actually kind of a hard one to get the selection just perfect and we're gonna go fix that later but the idea here is you want to get it pretty close um, so our fine-tuning later is minimized, but get it as close as you can. And just again, the important piece to know here is you want to have the part that crosses the border. So both sides of this barrel, both sides of the cowboy hat, both sides of the cowboy's arms, you want to have selected both inside and outside the frame. Once you've got that done, you come down here to step three, click the Out of Bounds Effect button, and it will actually create that out of bounds effect for you. Uh, you can then make some optional adjustments as well. If we want to add a background gradient, we just click that and uh, maybe click OK. Let's move this. We could add all kinds of different gradients if we wanted some color or if we wanted just black and white, um, black and white the opposite direction. All those things are doable and we can decide whether we want a linear gradient or a radial gradient or an angle. There's all kinds of choices here. Um, I actually like the linear gradients and you can change the angle a little bit to suit your needs. And just click OK. You don't have to add a gradient, it's optional, but if you want to it's as easy as that. And then also it's often nice to add a shadow. So you just try each small, medium, or large until you get the one that looks right. Um, let's leave a large shadow on this one. And then go ahead and click Done. All right, so I'm going to close my photo bin and zoom in a little bit here. Oops, close my tool options. There we go. And I've got now my out of bounds effect. But during that selection process, you know, as I mentioned, this is a really hard image to get perfect, and it didn't do a perfect job. So I'm going to show you by switching to expert mode how we can come in and fine tune things. And the way we do that is actually to go edit this layer mask right here. So this layer mask controls what's visible in our out of bounds part of the image and what's not. So if I actually hide that whole layer, you can see it's completely gone. And if I show it, you can see the piece that's sticking out. So to show and hide parts of that layer, I would either paint black or white onto my layer mask. And I'm actually going to zoom in a little more to show some of the problems, right? So we didn't get the edge of this barrel perfect. Um, if we scroll up here, we didn't get it perfect up here. So I'm just going to grab my brush and I'm going to choose either black or white. If I paint with white, then what happens when I paint on this layer mask? So click the layer mask to make sure it's selected and then you can come over here and paint. And I'm painting on that layer mask. I'm not actually painting the image. And so you can see where I paint with white, it shows that piece of the image. If I switch click this little arrow here and now my foreground color is black I'm painting with black it erases that image so I can come in and fine-tune just exactly what's part of my out-of-bounds effect in case I didn't get it right um, inside the guided edit so I can clean things up a little bit I'll maybe clean that up a little bit more let's make my brush a little smaller and kind of do some cleanup around here uh, move up to the top of the barrel. Again, I want to switch to white. So if I paint with white, uh, we're bringing some of that image back by just editing the layer mask. And scroll up a little more. Okay, here's our cowboy. He needs a lot of work. Uh, so we'll just fix his arm right here. Again, by painting white on the layer mask. And we'll paint. What I usually do is just get a little sloppy at first to bring the image back back into view. There we go. We'll get his hand and his fingers kind of thing. Make sure we've got it all. And then I'll switch to black and make my brush a little smaller and paint black on top of my layer mask to effectively erase where I don't want the cowboy's arms. So we'll clean up around his hands a little bit, up here around his fingers, uh, up around the top of his arm, just like that. There we go. So that's how we do the out of bounds effect using the guided edit. Let me double click on the hand to zoom back out so my entire image is here. I actually might want to crop this image a little bit at this point so I'll just grab my crop tool and maybe something like that to focus in on the image a little better. Again double click on the hand to get it to uh, go to full screen.
And we've got that out of bounds image where it feels like this bull is actually uh, headbutting the cowboy right out of my picture. Hope that helps and uh, take care.